Oh, you can probably tell what game this is by the little loading icon there. Actually, you can probably tell by the video title. <laughs> so yeah, I'm for this random gameplay video, I'm going to be playing a rather mediocre game, in my opinion. It is known as... Ah, I was a little bit late there, but yeah, that's Sonic Heroes. So let's start a new game because it's a random gameplay. Oh. I don't need to save for random gameplay anyway, so one player play story and I'm going to pick the Team Sonic here. All the character combos here pretty much control the same. Alright, indeed. This game is fun in some aspects, but... I wouldn't go out of my way to play it. <laughs> it. But I am actually kind of going out of my way to play it for a random gameplay here, but this is like, uh, as I stated before, the uh, random gameplays are like uh, mini reviews as well. That is one fancy piece of paper. <laughs> like, what is that? Uh, OLED piece of paper or something like that? Like an OLED screen flexibleness. Sounds like an invitation to party. What are we gonna do, Sonic? Oh no worries. We've got this one. Tails is voice actor. Time to crack that I did not like it in this game. <laughs> Just I don't know, it feels like too whiny of a kid and Tails is much just too intelligent. <laughs> It just feels that way to me, but anyway, that's just my opinion. Let's play the first stage Seaside Hill, and I will head for the Whale Island. We start out as the speed character formation. As I actually should show you the different formations as I go. I'm not going to go through those rings, because I'm, I'm going to show you right now. The Y and X button switches you between formations. And yeah, this is the flying formation of which you can go like so. Woo! And... Uh, these gates will automatically switch you to a different formation. So here is... You were late, Tails! <laughs> I think that would have been better off saying that ahead of time. I think would have been better off saying that ahead of time. Like, the idea of controlling three characters seems really, really cool, but it, it really feels like um, playing as one character and it can be sometimes kind of clunky. They sometimes have different paths or the different character formations, but you'll see what I mean by clunky. Like, sort of like that. What I mean by uh, clunky there, and uh, that's right, I can't really attack or kill them that easily. <laughs> Wait, what? Really? What? Oh, speed and flying time. I for, some, I, for some reason, I did not see the speed path there for whatever reason. Yeah! And, uh, there are keys which are used for some- oh, and the Team Blast, we press the Z button after collecting a certain amount of stuff. Which pretty much wipes out all the enemies on the screen, but it, uh, um, it takes a little while to do so. And you can also level up the characters as shown there in the camera. Sometimes a bother, too. <laughs> This is what I mean about the game being fun, but at the same time, mediocre. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I will take this path if you don't mind. Woo! Oh, Tails! The voice! It's just not fitting for you. <laughs> oh, poor Tails. He's one of my... Actually, he is my favorite Sonic character, and... Oh, and the... the it's always risky doing a homing attack as a speedy character when you're playing this game. Because it can sometimes not lock on and miss, like you've seen right there. And that's an incredibly and annoying common occurrence in this game. Uh, it's so annoying, in fact, that I actually never finished this game. <laughs> like, I, I finished all the stories except for the uh, dark side of the story, like the Team Shadow one or whatever, because that's the hardest version of it. I just couldn't take how often um, that the homing attack would fail, and I just don't know how to get it to work consistently. I, I probably could beat the game eventually just by sheer luck. 
But that, that's not really how I would like to play a game. So yeah, oh shoot, I should have been using a flying character there. No, that's bad planning. And you can also shoot your friends at stuff too, like so. Anyway, yeah, you're supposed to switch characters to break through certain obstacles as you go. That's kind of the gimmick of the game of sorts. And in fact, it's not, not just the gimmick, it's the whole game. <laughs> Oh shoot, I wasn't supposed to do that. <laughs> I wanted to hit the balloon to see what was inside it. One more try, please. Go, go, go! Camera. There we go. Five rings, that's all that's in there for all that work I did. Too late, Knuckles. <laughs> they also time things very, very badly, as you've seen there. So, this is, so it's, there's just a lot of nuances that are kind of off about this game. <laughs> and from what I heard, the GameCube version is the best version of all the ones out there, and this is the one that I'm playing right now, so... I'm playing it on the Wii, but it doesn't really matter. But I mean, it's the, it's the GameCube version. Like, uh, for some reason, some people wonder, like, um, what system I'm recording a game on. I don't think it, it really matters. Like, I don't think the quality or anything like that changes uh, between systems. Um, well, maybe if I use different cables, but I could use different cables on uh, um, other uh, systems as well. So, hmm. But <laughs> I, I just don't really uh, get why I'm asked that sometimes. It's just some of the things that I'm puzzled with on ye olde interwebs at times, I suppose. That I'm talking about, oh, wait, 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 question mark bubble. It's more like a question mark ring of primary, binary, and deterity colors. Hmm. Looks like we can use that cannon to go up. Didn't they already teach what was in that question mark thing? I thought. <laughs> like, I mean, as a automatically scripted thing. Oh well, yeah, with these cars, I didn't really mention them before as well. You can control them just by pressing right and left. It's not really all that special, just trying to flex stuff along the way. You can't seem to speed speed up or slow down. It just seems to happen automatically, as far as I can tell. So I, I guess there's maybe stuff to slow you down so that you don't make those checkpoints or something to get prizes, but I never... I mean, but it just seems so automatic. <laughs> what? Homing attack! <laughs> That's another thing, the homing That's attack it. can lock on, run. but you can end up looping around the enemy for what seems like eternity. <laughs> it's, it's, it's... you have to play the game to understand and see all the, um, the stuff it has itself. And I took quite a long time to beat this single level. Wait, what's down here? I just want to see for the fun of it. Woo! It's a one-up! Because that's the gold ring over there. Yes! Yeah. It definitely has a lot of charm. But the fact that important game mechanics are broke when you need them the most kind of makes me want to pull my hair out when playing the later levels. <laughs> Come on. Calculate score faster. Barely yeah, made it. I didn't think I would get a good, good uh, rank for that, but eh, oh well. I was just because I was explaining stuff and I wasn't really rushing through or. Eh, well. Yay! Yeah, and there's medals to collect. Um, just like the Sonic Adventure games were. Oh, shoot, bonus challenge. Bonus stages in Sonic games are always the bane of my existence. Got it! They, it's not, it's not because uh, I, I wouldn't like playing these, it's just that they tend to make them in a way that it's hard to react to them in time, or they just aren't all that fun to play in general. <laughs> this one's okay though, it, it's like the Sonic 2 one, and you can actually see further ahead than you could in the Sonic 2 one, which was a lot, oh shoot, ah, and you end up on the walls a lot. Which is a lot of um, uh, memorization in Sonic 2, but here not so much because you can see through the walls, which is very, very handy. 
And I should be collecting far more of these things. Dang it. I should also be Knuckles because he's got a better formation. I'm going to have to end up chasing a Chaos Emerald at the end of this. Dang it. Oh, shoot, mine. There. Yeah, I must collect. Balls. I have a ball fetish. Wait, what? <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Come on. Dang you. Uh, since you are uh, going to have to catch up with the Chaos Emerald a little bit later on, um, you will definitely want to switch to the speed character to do so. Mm, I don't know how well I'm doing in all honesty because it's been a while since I played these, but there's actually um, seven, seven of these suckers for each of the characters, so you have to go through seven of these for each of the team combinations, I mean. So, I hope you like these bonus stages. <laughs> and as far as I can tell, they are, they, or I should say, they feel very much the same for the most part. So, yeah, and they are uh, mandatory if you want to totally complete this game. Like, um, I don't, I don't want to say 100% it because there's still the medals. But you do need them to get through the uh, main story. And wait, I wasn't chasing an emerald? Maybe they are different. Maybe my memory is just simply failing me. My memory's done that before. By the way, that tube that I was riding in is pretty trippy. <laughs> Unless that wasn't for an emerald? And it was just a bonus? Four one-ups? Hmm. Well... My memory just likely flopped on me there. <laughs> well, I'm gonna do one more stage here because I don't think that that one would be enough. But this time I'm gonna play for it, play through it for realsies here as if I was actually playing through it via walkthrough style. So here we go. Let's see how many issues I have playing the game normally. <laughs> oh jeez, I got stuck on the wall. <laughs> well, there's one. Keep counting of them for this level here. <laughs> Nope, didn't mean to do that. That was my fault. Switch to power. Er, that. I was supposed to be hitting the wall because I was like right next to the wall and the wall wasn't pushing in like it was supposed to. And, uh, I should probably keep power formation because these things are just going to keep crumbling. Thank you, Tails. That's, you're very informative. <laughs> oh, okay, thank you for informing me this time. Alright, when you're in uh, power formation, you can do this thing. It's like a uh, hang gliding formation, a dealio thing. I don't know why you can only do that in the power formation, but that's the uh, uh, nuances of the different different forms, I guess you could say. Attack! And I typically tend to... I just pounced off the walls like a pinball. I tend to stick with the ah, with the speed forms in most cases, just because it's simply faster. <laughs> uh, wait, wait, wait a second. Wait, actually, this will work, won't it? Yeah, it'll work. You have to be in power after all. It, but, but, that just bounce off. <laughs> Dang it, knuckles! Uh, when you're in speed formation, you can do this to the walls, which actually works pretty well, and you can actually switch between the wall and a very shallow angle, so this is actually, that actually works very well, I'd like to see that implemented in more games, in all honesty. And I, I touched those rings, how did I not... Uh, this game... <laughs> At least you don't have to get those balloons or rings or anything like that during a stage. Well... Unless you're going for like ranks or something like that, but I mean, the game kind of screws you sometimes, is what I'm saying. <laughs> I, I really wish they would have spent more time polishing it. It's, it's as I said, it's definitely fun to play as, uh, to an extent. But I'm not sure if I would make a walkthrough on it because oh, I got stuck on the loop again because the. This turtle is swimming with a block on his back. Oh, oh, how could you even tell with the camera at that angle? <laughs> um, depending on your character formation, uh, it recommends you take different paths. I'm gonna go for the uh, power path here, just because. Why not? But uh, yeah, 
I, I don't know if I would be able to tolerate this game enough for a walkthrough because well, well it would I feel like a lot of the stuff you get um, you're, I mean you're able to beat is is simply because of luck not because of skill like you shouldn't have to rely on a shaky um a shaky mechanic system and I need to get up to that rain bill die. And if if your mechanics fail you Yeah, you, you just you just can't do anything about that and you just don't know when when they're gonna fail you, how many times they're gonna fail you, and the later stage in the stages in these games are really long, like fifteen minutes long. I'm not kidding. So if you ever run out of lives due to the fact that you are getting screwed over by the game mechanics, it, it really kills uh, the motivation to keep playing, because you don't feel like you're losing because of your lack of skill, you feel like you're losing because of the game messing with you. <laughs> that, that's not something that you want when you are playing a game. Oh, this is uh, going backwards. <laughs> that's a side path. Yeah. Ooh. Come on, get, get together. You can't do that thing unless everyone's together. There we go. I shouldn't have let go of it to begin with. <laughs> yeah, you can't do the skydiving formation unless everyone is together. There we go. Let's take the high rope because I like doing this wall kick thingy. Like, oh, jeez. I don't know how to get off there safely. <laughs> like without uh, homing attacking those springs. Oh, whoops. Didn't see that coming. Let's head up there. Oh, that sounds good. I think I will do so. Woo! Oh, jeez. Indiana Jones coming up. I remember this. Go, 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 go! <laughs> I don't think it's possible to get hit by this if you just keep going. But it's pretty cool watching this go. Just hold down towards the camera. It's still coming. It's still coming. It doesn't matter if there's two rocks. Both are there to kill you. <laughs> I don't know if they're even sentient. I mean, they have faces, but I don't know if they're considered buddies. There's three rocks now. Tails, you were in the air. You were going up. You were not falling. <laughs> All right, that's how it would be if I played through a level normally. Let's see the rank. I probably did terrible regardless because I'm rusty. <laughs> I'm not gonna wait, wait for that. Oh. Yes, that's about it. Okie dokie. <laughs> Please don't take me to a bonus area. Please don't take me to a bonus area. I just want to end off the video somehow. <laughs> Dang you! Oh, it, oh, oh, oh! So they're different. There's special stages for emeralds and specials just for the stuff. Well, okay, I'll, I'll do this. And then I'll, I'll end off the part. Um, so yeah, you gotta keep your speed gauge up by collecting those spheres. The spheres make your speed gauge go up. In the other one, it's your... Um, what makes your speed go... I mean, not, not speed, and what makes you, makes you get lives, I think, are the spheres, like collecting enough of them. And, ah! So yeah, I'm chasing down an emerald, and I need to keep my speed up via that speed gauge. Gotta look out for stuff that could ruin my speed. Dang it, Sonic, don't climb the walls. <laughs> Special stages are kind of touchy at times. You definitely want your speed character. Oh, come on, Sonic. Emerald. You are so quick. <laughs> you can see it sparkling up ahead there. I wonder if I'll be able to catch up with it by the time I reach the goal. It looks like that I'm getting... It looks like I'm getting... <sighs> I hit the boosters and I actually slowed down this game. <laughs> now it's quite a bit ahead of me. Music is very catchy in this game though, I gotta give it that. But yeah, this would basically be my uh, reaction to a mediocre game walkthrough <laughs> through the whole thing. I'd be complaining about the game's mechanics in and, in and out. And I'm not sure if that would be fun to watch, especially when I would have to be doing this for hours upon hours due to the game messing with me. Come on now. Go, 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 go! Oh yeah, that's right, you gotta, I gotta hold the button to actually speed up to keep my speed gauge up. 
I forgot about that, and that's probably what's making me fail at getting this emerald. But wow, I'm holding the button and it's actually still getting away from me. Come on! Come on! Eh. Yeah! Eh. Oh well. <laughs> okay, I got it, like, at the last minute, but it was just too late for me to actually get the hang of this. I mean, I got the hang of the special stage too late, so to speak. Alright, I'm gonna end it off here. Or... I keep being tempted to play something else. Fine, I'll play the boss, and then I'll end it off. <laughs> Alright, how many times... Is my homing attack going to fail me on the Egg Hawk? It's got Get, get. <laughs> Dang it! Always watch the guns. That was my fault. I admit that. I admit that completely. All right, attack, attack. This is a terrible attack, Egg Man. My homing attack failed me, and I jumped into the wing. And this is this is how the game can kill you. You you land in the middle of a boss like that. Your homing attack fails you, and what happens is that you take a hit when you don't have rings, and you end up getting doomed. Or um, when you fail to uh, hit an enemy next to an edge, and your homing attack does not bounce upwards, you're not able to hit an enemy, and you just fly down into the abyss. Not fun. <laughs> I know I'm complaining a lot in this video, but I do have fun with this game to an extent. Where is... Did I get that far ahead of you, really? I, I am embarrassed for you, Eggman. Attack. Get locked onto that hawk. Yeah. I know I can attack it like that. <laughs> I think you just keep looping around the, the same area, so there's pretty much a limited amount of rings for the most part. Ah, it's their attack, and this is where I can get the attacks in much more easily. Maybe I should be using the power character. Like, maybe I'd be able to do more damage with a power character than a speed character. Like, faster. Maybe I'll try it at the next uh, intersection where it's or inevitably I'm going to be... Dang it! Ah. <laughs> or inevitably I'm going to be, um... Uh, attacked by that rotary attack that doesn't do much of anything while you're on top of it like that. I bet, I bet it feels fancy to Eggman, but it doesn't actually... do much of anything. He's probably gonna end up scrapping this thing later. Oh, okay, you're in land, you're in land. Okay. Okay, initiate your... What hit me? Like, seriously, what? What the poop hit me? Uh, it does seem to do a little bit more damage quicker. Oh wow, a lot more damage quicker. Okay, I should have done this earlier. <laughs> I could have been finished with that much, much faster. Alright, just as they said, alright, I am done with this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Hmm, ready for the junk Picky. Picky, picky. <laughs>